So this is gonna be a, a quick video because it, it really comes down to something that I've, I've been dealing with at work is that there, there's a book out there called Crucial Conversations. Highly recommend you, you pick it up. And especially in today's world where everyone gets offended and that you know even if it's not the person getting offended, someone gets offended for the offended or people get their feelings hurt, it's just, it's just a world of mess. You know? And the reason being is that there's, it's, it, you know, I've said it before, life is too easy. There, it's just too easy. There's just, food can get delivered to you, water can get delivered to you, we have our protections, there's really, you know, we have the health, we have so many things for us. And I'm talking about if we put this into perspective even 100 years ago, let alone millennia ago, all right? So number one is you have to pick up the phone when something happens. You have to sit down with them and say, okay, how do we work this out? Here's an example. So my videographer and I, we got into a little tiff while we're filming and that affected me because we're filming and I need to be on, I need to entertain you guys. I, want to s I need to sell this property. So sure enough, we got into this tip. Uh, he isn't as into personal development, so he just, he, he carried it with him. But he's filming and I'm looking at it and him at the same time. So we we're taking a subway to the next uh, stop we were gonna be filming and I said to him, I'm like, listen, let's work this out right now. Like, what, what do we need to do? And he gave what he wanted because obviously I hired him. So he wants, you know, more money or time or he didn't think you'd be doing these things. But the thing is, he was holding it inside. The worst thing you could do is hold it inside. Whether it's in a relationship, whether it's your boss, whether it's your spouse, whether it's your kids, you have to lay it out there. If you can't see them, you have to pick up the phone. You cannot text, you cannot email. Why? Because the person reading the text or the email can't hear the voice inflection. They literally just read it the way they think they, you would actually say it when in fact you'd say it totally different. Even if you said, hey, they'd be like, hey, why so casual, okay? So when you talk to them, I said, how do we work this out? We're in the subway. Sure enough, I said, dude, there's gonna be other things we disagree with we need to talk about this. Sure enough, gave a high five, um, and I was like, dude, respect that we had this conversation, and it was amazing, it was amazing. We felt a lot better, I could tell you that, because going into the next apartment, I was not on, all right? So number one is, if you can, talk to them in person. Number two is, call them if you cannot. Call your parents if you have a problem with them. Call your spouse and say, hey listen, I don't like how you treated me today, or let's work this out right now, let's grab coffee, okay? Not of not having the critical conversations that you need to have. Everything will be sorted out. And that's the thing is, it will also get you better at having other critical conversations because if I can't have a, if I can't have a crucial conversation with my videographer about what he expected, what, he, what he's getting compensated, what he, what he thought he was gonna be doing, if I can't even have that, how am I gonna be able to pitch my idea if I need it for investors or pitch myself to people for a hundred million dollar job, you know? If I can't even do that, having an uncomfortable conversation about how much I'm getting paid or compensation or, or myself, defending myself or debating against someone else, how am I gonna be able to do that if I can't even do the small things? It's all about the little success principles, okay? That the small wins over time create the big ones. So have an awesome day. Leave your comments below about who you need to be having a crucial conversation or any questions that you have about it because that book literally laid it out. You have to be honest but respectful. You have to be, you have to be on point yet trite, all right? So have an awesome day.